This is an introduction to the Logo Design Project for Digital Perspectives. The scope of the project includes the following things. Selecting a client to produce a logo for. In this project, you're going to have to select an authentic client who really needs a logo that you can communicate with regularly. This person or organization has to be someone that you have access to and who really needs a logo. During this project, you're going to be going through the design thinking process. In the design thinking process, you're going to be exploring options and eventually narrowing things based on feedback from the client. The design thinking process is one of iteration. That means you're going to be making some uh, sketches and initial logo designs and getting feedback from your client throughout. At the very end, you're going to be presenting logos to your client for their selection. Communication is essential in this um, project, so it's super important that you use all of your good communication skills. Some of the communication is going to be done digitally, but it's essential for the success of this project that you also are able to communicate face-to-face, -face, even if that's virtually over Skype or Google Hangouts, for example. You're going to be able to sense a person's emotions a little bit better and have sort of the normal give and take that's part of a normal face-to-face -face conversation. And that's lost when you're sending email back and forth, and it's much more efficient. You're going to be learning, of course, some digital design skills. Those design skills will focus on the applications of Pages and Keynote, but also introduce Adobe Illustrator. In the end, you're going to be producing a vector logo um, for your client. The logo that you produce is going to be um, the client's choice. So in the end, you will present two or three versions of the final logo, and the client will select. The client will also give feedback on the process of working with you and how well the end product matched their specifications. Finally, the assessment for this project is going to be you reflecting on your process. Remember, all along we've emphasized that process is the most important thing here. So, you're going to need to keep notes in your process journal all the way along so that you have something to say at the end.